Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I have the world's most awesome device. Yeah. Does that ever happen to you? You know, you're using one of your favorite gadgets and then it runs out of power? Sure, you could be specked out the wazoo, but if you can't turn it on, well, that's, that's a turn off. So, unfortunately, it's a fact of life that most of us geeks have to carry around some kind of augmentation, some uh, batteries, power, right? Uh, for really just about any portable device that can be recharged. I mean, not all of us could have a home office and, and, and stay inside a, a single room for uh, most of the year, uh, never really needing any kind of uh, battery pack. But when we do leave the house uh, once or twice a year, uh, we want to make sure we have enough power when we travel because we can't always rely on an outlet being wherever we go. And for that reason, uh, we as geeks are likely looking out for the best rechargeable battery pack option out there. And I thought I'd, I'd found a few. Uh, specifically uh, for uh, some of my, uh, I guess, favored uh, devices that would recharge by way of, of USB. Uh, but uh, the problem was is they were lacking. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? There wasn't enough uh, power. And so I, I hopped onto uh, Amazon.com and I, I did a, a cursory search and I, I looked for the best battery I could find, at least in a, an affordable range, sub $100. And uh, this was it. I bought it, I, my own money. I bought the Portable Power Max. One of the worst named products in history, but it's accurate. Portable Power Max, 16,000 milliamp hours. Right here, well, not here, this is the, the box for it. It is actually here, and this is bigger than most of the devices you might carry. It's kind of hefty too. Uh, but look at that, I have Let's see here, one, two, three, four, five USB ports, which means I can charge up to five devices by way of USB. And uh, the front should have an indicator. I'm at full charge. Look at that, it's nice and blue. I like things that glow blue. That's why I'm wearing blue for my unboxing. That's actually, I actually already unboxed it, so sorry about that. Couldn't wait to jump in and start recharging devices. It works, and it works very well uh, for any USB device you might have, whether it's a digital camera, uh, some kind of phone, or even, yes, the iPad. Now, the reason why I say the iPad and, and, and separate it from everything else is that you need at least 10 watts of power to recharge uh, the iPad. You can't just plug it into any old USB port and expect that you're gonna get juice automatically flowing to it. You have to have a battery pack or a USB adapter that charges by AC or connects by AC in order to recharge uh, the iPad. So, uh, the... Uh, the, uh, what is it again? The, I'm having a problem with the name. The Portable Power Max uh, definitely works with, yeah, everything I've thrown at it. Yeah, we're going over the devices. I'm uh, playing a game. So seeing here, we got, oh, and, and, and the nice thing is, is the box has a translation in uh, French. It's not a value add. I, I think what you came here for is this. Uh, it does come with a nice little travel bag. It is a rather, as I said, uh, hefty. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Let's see if I've got an exact weight on this thing. It's kind of, it, it, it's, I would say it's almost as heavy as the iPad itself. Maybe a little lighter than that. Uh, again, I'm not doing an exact measurement. I'm just kind of giving you a feel for it. Something that you could likely slip into your pocket, but most certainly in a briefcase uh, or any other kind of, of travel gear uh, that you might have. Uh, this is, as far as I can tell, in the sub $100 category, the most portable the most powerful uh, battery pack. I spent my own money on it. If you'd like to get your own, go.tagjag.com slash PowerMax. Let's do that. Go.tagjag.com slash PowerMax. I'll link you off to where you can get your own 16,000 milliamp backup battery. Not a uh, milliamp hour, sorry. A backup battery. Um, and the reason, again, I, I recommend uh, these is because you never know when you're going to need it. But if you do decide to buy an external battery, don't get one that has a proprietary connector, including uh, you know one you would might uh, connect to directly to an iPad or an iPod. And the reason why is because you may not have that forever, but I can guarantee for at least the foreseeable future, you will have some kind of device that will potentially charge by way of USB. Five ports, baby.
five, 16,000 milliamp hours, that could charge your phone, uh, your friend's phone, you could probably recharge a stranger's phone too. You could charge them. You could charge them for recharging their device on your battery. So you could actually make money, potentially. Because you've ever gone to an airport and the one thing that they don't have is an electrical outlet you could freaking use? Because some moron's taking up two outlets because he needs to recharge his laptops. Gotta send the email. Whoa. You know what I'm talking about if you've ever been to an airport. It's so frustrating. Very few airports have accommodated uh, the increasing needs of users, not just uh, people who travel for business, uh, but people who, who just travel and have gadgets and gizmos that they want to have plugged in. Well, no fear if you have a 16,000 milliamp hour external battery pack with you. Uh, it also uh, comes with a cable that uh, splits into, uh, oh, we've got a, a micro and a, a mini USB connector on, on one end, uh, so you could you could use that if you wanted to. Chances are you already have your uh, USB cables that you're going to carry around. One of the biggest disappointments I gotta say in getting this uh, for myself was this: the adapter is AC. Ah, this would be ultimate if it charged by USB. Probably can't because of power considerations. It could take like. 14 days to recharge. Either way, it's a, a DC, a 12 volt DC connection to you know help make it recharge uh, quicker, and that can really only be accomplished by way uh, of an AC adapter, at least at this point in time. So uh, that is the only disappointment that I have in, in this particular external battery pack. However, that being said, in terms of the money, I found for the same price, right around $80, uh, I found other external battery packs that only had half as much capacity or less. So I figured, hey, if I'm gonna spend the money, I might as well go as high as I can go, get as much as I possibly can. This is it. Uh, and I, I've been trapped in situations with devices that charge by USB without enough power. And that is so frustrating. So frustrating. I don't even like picking up things that can't recharge by way of USB in some capacity. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the actual battery pack itself uh, is, is not uh, enough to... Uh, uh, with uh, This is not capable of recharging by way of USB, but it's got enough power inside that it should be able to get me through the day if I happen to run out of juice, uh, even though in just about every instance of uh, using an iPad on the go, even at a, a conference, not being plugged in, I can still come home after a heavy usage and still be at 50% uh, with the iPad itself. But knowing that this is just kind of a safety net, I, I wanted to get something that was decent. This is decent. I put my own money behind it. You can too. Go.tagjag.com slash PowerMax 16,000. Have you found one that's better? I'm looking at the, the video feed over here. See, I've got a chat room. I'll get to that in just a second. If you have found one that's better, at least at this point in time, you're free to let me know. Chris at Perillo.com. Although, don't tell me like right away. Let me bask in this for a while since I spent my own hard-earned money on it. At Chris Perillo on Twitter, at Locker Gnome as well. Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo or Facebook.com slash Locker Gnome. Locker Gnome.net, Locker Gnome.com. Chris the... Uh. That wasn't my last name. I was going to say Chris.Perillo.com, but instead I belched. I apologize. Uh, it's rendered this video uh, completely unprofessional. And uh, please forgive me if you have sensitive ears. Um, I did not mean to offend at all. Um, just uh, go ahead and if you want to hit pause now, you can. If not, I'm just going to tell you we're geeking out 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.